capstone project is something big on the horizon in your fourth or fifth year of university. We've done a lot of software work, we've had to build a cleaning system and all of this has gone on a hobby drone basically. So coming out with one week left to the Endeavour presentation, um, there's still a few things that are left to be done in our project. One of them is still sort of refining the controls on the drone and seeing if we can get it to actually clean a window. Um, effectively. Currently we've been working on just a couple of flight tests, um, seeing if we can get the control mechanisms correct to do that. And then on top of that we're currently putting together presentations and demonstrations of how the whole system works. And these are the sort of final things we're working on to get it ready for Endeavour. Currently we've just been using what is essentially a mock window, a big plastic sheet, and the drone flies up to that and attempts to clean that, uh, rather than potentially damaging other windows in the university. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, during one of our flight tests recently, we um, tried to maneuver the drone uh, more aggressively into the window, and unfortunately, the drone ended up uh, cutting off a couple of sensors and doing some damage to itself. Took it back to the lab, had to do a bit of a repair on it, rework a couple of things, but we've got it back up and flying now, and ended up getting some really good results once we had that fixed up. At Indemo, we'll be demonstrating our drone on a bench um, and it'll just be scanning our fake window that we have and people will be able to pick it up and move it around and get a feel for how it's actually positioning itself within the window and how it actually conducts its cleaning algorithm. Yeah, so moving forward, um, we definitely all see a real potential in this market and we've really been interested in this project. So going forward, we'd actually love to see this continued on and potentially running it, us running it as a capstone project next year where we sort of come in and supervise and see what people are doing but the project continues on and we get a real refinement in what the current prototype is. We have a lot of suggestions on how it can go further and how people can refine it, and we'd love to see that executed next year. So my role on this project has been uh, working on the cleaning system for the drone. During the week, I've got it all connected up and it works, but now we have to integrate that with the drone, which is not a simple task. So we've got it working on a small rig, but we need to be able to make that work on the drone which involves making sure everything is waterproof and airtight because we really don't want water getting into the drone for obvious reasons. In addition to that, I need to work on some algorithms to get the precise control of the pump and solenoid valve to control the water or the cleaning fluid into the drone. So we see real commercial potential with this project. Uh, it's something that hasn't been done before and we have some unique features on our drone that no other cleaning device can do. So we would really love to continue with this project beyond this year to see that come to fruition. So I've known both these guys for quite a while. We all did uh, the undergraduate degree here with a Bachelor of Science. We all majored in electrical systems and so it's been a real journey from then till now to get here. What we're most looking forward to at the Endeavour exhibition is being able to show off our projects to a range of stakeholders, whether that be academics, industry, people, uh, and just the public in general. Um, we're really proud of what we've done and we think it's a really cool project for people to come and see. What surprised me perhaps the most about Capstone is the amount of time we have to dedicate to management of uh, what tasks we're going to do on the project and being able to link those up. The Endeavour Awards Night will sort of capstone our capstone, if you like. Uh, it, it's the way of ending our degree and we can really celebrate both our project and everyone else's. We can see what everyone else has done and recognise that. For Capstone, I would definitely say first priority, pick some people you like, because there's going to be a lot of late nights and long days, particularly towards the end of the project, where you're going to be at each other's throats if you're not great friends. More generally, maybe also pick a really good supervisor and a really good project. Don't compromise on doing something for a whole year that you don't love. There's a lot of late nights and early mornings in engineering. And this morning we got out onto the Oval at Uni and got to fly our drone at about 7am before anyone was around. All those late nights are definitely worth it when you see this thing we've made actually cleaning a window in front of us. We've all been at university for five or six years now. It's been a long road and there's no way at the start I would have picked that we'd be working on a project as cool as ours for the whole year. Everything's really built up to this and now it's finally ending and we've got this pretty cool project that says we finished an electrical engineering degree. Next year we'll all be moving on to different careers, but if we run this project as a capstone next year for future students, it'll be good to come back as a group and help supervise that. So we could actually incorporate as a company next year, and as a group, we can be the industry supervisors for a project at Melbourne Uni. We can come back, provide our technical expertise and some advice for new students to keep working on this project and make it better. Who knows, maybe this project will be on Road to Endeavour again next year. Hey guys, thanks for following our Road to Endeavour journey on YouTube the last few weeks. Please like our video to help us win the social media prize. And don't forget to catch us this Thursday at the Endeavour exhibition at the University of Melbourne. Woo! <laughs>